So if I can, we introduce the minister here. If you'd like to say a few words, it'd be wonderful. Thank you. Well, thank you, Aubrey. And I want to thank Ryan and Colin, and especially our great chief right here, Jim McSween. This committee and this group of volunteers who work side by side with the chief to bring the best and brightest ideas that they have to help make York Region a better place. And there's no finer service in Ontario that the York Regional Police Service is. I make every excuse to visit. I was there earlier today, even when the chief wasn't able to be there. I know my way around really good. And, <laughs> and, I, and I can tell you this. York Regional Police Service looks like Ontario. And I'm really proud of that. You know, when we look around Ontario, Ontario looks different than it did when I was a little kid. Because we've welcomed people from all over the world. Canada and Ontario is a place that this year will have over 500, uh, Ontario rather, will have over 500,000 people come here to Ontario as new immigrants. And that's why we have to build a million and a half homes because we need places for them to live. But that means we have to have safe places for them to live. And this is why I'm absolutely committed together with our Premier to make sure that we have a place to wake up our kids in the morning. We have a place to say goodbye to our loved ones. We have a place to go to work. We have a place to shop. And we have a place to pray. And when I look at the Ontario that we want to have for our kids and our family, it's because Ontario is unlike any other jurisdiction in the entire world. You know, when I traveled just last week to uh, 16 stops in 30 hours, people thought I was a bit uh, over ambitious, but I did it. And we toured across southwestern Ontario. People are positive. When we talk about public safety, they're positive. When we talk about why our government is so proactive in wanting to get these violent and repeat offenders off our streets, and again, York Region Police Services is leading by example with all of their technology and their personnel and their training and their commitment. When we look at, you know, stopping auto theft, our government is taking this seriously. And that's why we've made an announcement that we're investing over $40 million to provide monies that York Regional Service at YRP will benefit from by acquiring the technology and by having even more personnel to stop it. And when we look at what we're doing transformationally at the Ontario Police College to break down the barriers, to, to, to remove the obstacles that were preventing people from becoming police officers, it was because of the leadership of Premier Ford that we have the largest class now graduating, I'm proud to say, on August the 2nd, of which YRP will have its great cadets. And how do I know it? Because I saw them last week when I made a snap inspection. And they're doing great, Chief. Um, it's because all of these factors show that our government is absolutely committed to our public safety. I say it, but I mean it. We've never had a government that can look people in the face and say, we will have the backs of everyone that keeps us safe. And for me, when I come back home to, to a great service, a service I call home YRP, it's because I really salute the command leadership, the rank and file, the civilian leaderships, and especially the volunteers like Aubrey and everyone here who have taken time out of their day to make YRP, to make York Region a better place. And with that, I just want to say it's a great honor for me to be here, and we will be with you every step of the way.